most popular ghetto area in Zimbabwe is known for its early morning hustle, the air laden with the scent of competition. Mbari is possibly the busiest per capita square meter in Zimbabwe, and they say you can find almost anything there. Here's what I found. I was over the moon. Um, I'm Pepe Shosechema. I'm the captain of the Zimbabwe netball team, also known as the Zim Gems. Twelve unlikely women from the unlikeliest backgrounds will be raising our banner and flying the Zimbabwean flag high at the Netball World Cup final this summer in Liverpool, UK. These ladies are the only Zimbabwean national team in history to qualify for any World Cup, but guess what? No one is talking about it. The team is made up of ladies who come from different backgrounds, but they have two things in common. Their unquestionable love for their country and their undying love for netball. Uh, my favorite player is uh, Felista Squangwa, who is also my vice captain. Uh, my name is Felista Squangwa. I'm a correctional prison officer and also a student at Uh She's good, she's a defender. Uh, she gets most of the intercepts. When the captain's voice cannot reach out to the defenders, I'm the one who can initiate that. I can say everyone's my favorite player, but I'm really inspired by my team captain, Perpetual Sashitema. Stella Nkundinon is Tembilechitiva and Noshanda Zimbabwe National Army. Oh, one player I would want to play against is uh, Clarice Karamba. Uh, she's the youngest though. Hey, she gives me a tough time. Zitara Nkundinon is Clarice Karamba. I was in form 6 last year from Shana High School. I was in the form 6 last year. Our training program is like we wake up uh, at 5 a.m., uh, we do our morning jog at 5.30, uh, we walk from, from St. Peter's to, to, to start at for training, then start training at night. I'm not happy with the support that we're getting because uh, uh, me and my girls, we've worked very hard to get where we are today. I mean, qualifying for World Cup for the first time, but we're really not getting the, the support. I don't really know why. Is it maybe because we are ladies? I, I don't know. It would be a great honor if uh, the, the minister would just like come visit us. I think it will also motivate us as, a, as, as ladies. I need you guys out there to just come and support us, please. Um, it will be devastating if we don't make it to the UK. This is the first time that Zimbabwe has qualified for the World Cup. I think the case is covered. Plus, the minister of the sports. They need this and that. I think the case is I think it can do mama to go to Kumbro. She's she's my sister. I can't say mama. She's my sister. But my to Kumbro, my teacher, my training kids, my track suits. She says in the school, and they go to Nora Atina, my sneakers Atina. I think I'm concerned about it because we know I can't perform sports. For any netball player um, in any country, this is the biggest stage that you can ever perform in for your country. So it will be very disappointing if our country can't back us up and help us in our, in this situation. Uh, my biggest fear is Kunya uh, Sanyika Dune the way we yet nigga chirati ziganayo, the way yet nigga chiluka, uh kusakwensa ku give out our best, kuini sa nike du kusimu zira nike du and then even kusa and do world cup. Uh one way I can use to describe the feeling if you don't make it to the World Cup is uh disappointed. 
Kashiwa Malay went out quite cup, try to cut the Nangund no chairman doing it, but could the Zimbabwe is queen and the world cup is to go trumble qualifier. So missing this tournament will be a great loss to us. Ah, and the other thing that could come, hmm, the girl was because ya, quite a bakur, it's just in Girida since two thousand and four, Chingo Shingirida. He does a viraga. Matibatira of Titigo, no window, court cup. First time you do a queen of Liverpool, made for Timian Zimbabwe. The national team had nowhere to stay, so the church stepped in to help, and they were welcome to stay free of charge at a local church school. They, however, still don't have a gym or sufficient kit and training equipment. They have inadequate first aid or medicine kits in case of injury, and even their diet is inappropriate for sportswomen. The food that we're having, I think it's not good enough for, for, for sports persons because we need fruits, we need some juices. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we can't afford to have uh, such things. One word I can use uh, to describe the circumstances that uh, we are right now is uh, patient. If we can have enough funds so that we can have good campsite, good facility for training, even the, the training kits, if we can just like uh, put on same types of training kits, same sneakers, I think it will really help us and it will motivate us also. I asked the girls to tell me who their role models are and what message they would like to send them. Okay, Kaduandino Fari. My name is Matara Nikani Murumi Wabo. If I could send a message to anybody, I would send it to the first lady. Um, I would say, Mommy, we love you, we need your support. We are in camp, we need to go to Liverpool, but I know uh, things are not going on so well for us. So, Mommy, because of your soft heart, I think we really need your help. My role model is Mrs. Makandiwa because she's always helping people, especially young ladies. Chikumbiro Chankuna Mai Matara Nika, the Shokuti Asia Zira, Dago Nokusanga Nanavo, Batibatiro Sevano, Chikazi, Kutuno Shitakura Sey, Kutana Tinga Tendo Kunze Kwenik, Sanu Yadzisa. My role model is uh, my Sandra Taubire, shopping that is a church for Seventh day Adventist. Uh, my role model would be um, Frank Bianca. Um, he's one of the biggest businessmen here in Zimbabwe. Um, I think I can relate to him because he's lived in the UK and also studying for product design. Um, his cre creative influence that he has within his business, I can also relate as a student. My role model is Mrs. Titi Masiwa, uh, the wife to Strife Masiwa. Um, my role model is Mrs. Karen Mutasa. Um, her business was all about making sure that women look good all the time, wherever they are. I know Batirava and Avakawanda and Zimbabwe. I know owner the Higher Life Foundation. Um, if I had to ask Frank for something, it would be funding for friendly games. I know Australia, South Africa, New Zealand have already started their friendly games, and we still haven't got our friendly games rolled in yet. So it would be a good help to get our friendly games going now before July. Watching these girls, seeing them train from early morning throughout the day with no complaints was deeply inspiring. I can't help but imagine, what if all their role models stepped up to help? What if Mavis Mataranyika, Sandra Taguire, Prophetess Ruth Makandiwa, Tsitsima Siwa, and Frank Buyanga knew that they had inspired the Zimbabwe dream girls. I have no idea if this will ever get their attention. I just wanted to play my part to get the message out. If there's anyone out there who believes our girls deserve a chance, please help. The way I see it, these girls have given everything for their country. They're not asking a lot to have their country give a little in return.